Alright guys, so this is take 7, like literally take 7, and um, what I'm basically doing here is just, like, just giving kind of a commentary, I guess, or how I feel about some of these kits. Um, the information I'm getting, obviously, is coming from everyone's favorite blogspot page, and you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to butcher his name, but you guys know which page I'm talking about. Um, you know, someone with the blue background and countless images of anything in Japan, uh, or typically Gundam related. Anyway, um, there are a few things that I could bring up, but I figure if I don't have a very good opinion on it, I'm just going to skip it. And if I'm skipping it, it's probably because you guys have skipped it. So, yeah. Um, there are countless, countless, countless things that I could you know, talk about, but specifically, let's go up. Let's go from the very last post up. Um, and the first one I want to talk about is the high-grade Masa Rao. I'm not very excited. I'm not, I mean, I am excited. I, I've been waiting on it, but at this point, it's 17th. I'm not going to show how, much, how excited I am about it. I've pre-ordered it. Um, I've been waiting for the damn kit to be released ever since I've seen the Masa Rao in the series. Um, and, you know, finally it's coming. And, and it's coming out in December, so it could be my perfect Christmas present. Um, but yeah, uh, that's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Uh, Seed vs. the Strays. Oh my goodness. Nebula Blitz. Van Savior. Mm. A Stray Mirage Frame. Mm. That is looking sick. Like, you know, at first glance I saw it, I was like, ooh, it's, it looks like a Wolverine type of Gundam, and I, I, I'm thinking it is because it apparently has some kind of Berserker, Hyper, something kind of mode where the blades just um, extend and stuff, and then I guess his head rotates and reveals another head behind the the stray head. There's some something like that. I don't I don't get what's going on with it, but the only thing I understand about it is it looks pretty sick. Um, I don't know too much about the colors though, but you know the kit does look pretty sick, and it would definitely, to me, it would look good with my green frame and the straight uh, red frame, which I just busted out from their boxes after moving in, and I was like, when I opened the box, I was like, oh, they're so sexy, and I totally forgot about them. I totally forgot how badass these kits were. These Marat, not the, these astray frame kits, but yeah, um. You got a whole line of um, uni unicorn Gundam kits that are coming out. Um, two in particular I'm interested in is the um, Rizel and the uh, Garazuru. Been waiting on a Garazuru ever since I've seen it in um, designs and stuff like that. The unicorn Gundam and Kshatriya I could really care less about, though the Kshatriya is looking kind of awesome. It's just too freaking huge, and I'm running out of shelf space currently. Yeah, um, there's that Cubulay Mark II, that, but a stray blue frame, second revised. The more I see it, the more I'm like gripping for it, I'm just reaching for it. The astray, I'm going to have to say, the Masquerade Astray blue frame is something that I'm going to want, but wait for later on because I'm thinking, just like how I, I was thinking about Master Out, I'm thinking, what if they released a Masquerade green frame? Or, you know, in more standard terms, a master grade red frame. Yeah, they have a perfect grade red frame, but sometimes you can never have too many of the same Gundam or the same suit in different or each and every single, you know, scale and grade. So, you know, I'll wait for that, but if nothing happens, then master grade strip blue frame, it, I'm gonna have to get because this is freaking sexy. You, you know, admit it, it's sexy. Um, an another Zaku variant. Oh, and probably one of the biggest news ever. Master Grade Victory Gundam Verka. See, I'm not, I'm not really into the Victory Gundam. I was into the design of the Victory Assault Buster. That was an awesome Gundam. That is an awesome Gundam. Probably, correct me if I'm wrong, but that was probably the first ridiculously overly powered Gundam. You know, depending on if Turn A or Victory Gundam came first. Depending on which one came first. But yeah, I, I really love the design and the abilities of the Victory Assault Buster. 
And I'm just kind of anticipating if they, you know, follow through with the match rate of that, that's something I'm going to have to get. Um, but yeah, the Victory Gundam, that's great news. That's really great news. Because it kind of shows me that there's hope that there will be more Wing Gundam match rates and Gundam X match rates maybe, you know? Wink, wink, hint, hint. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We have a whole year coming for us. Um, some other kits that I could care less about. A couple of armored core kits, yeah. Um, I keep seeing these Zoid kits. I'm getting the urge to get one. They're so freaking detailed. Five star stories, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, a whole bunch of Macross kits. Uh, some super deforms. Oh, this uh, this new Sunken Gundam kit with the tiger armor thing. That is sick. I'm gonna have to get that. That's a must for me. Masura is already must. Um, Morsi versus Shreys. More Unicorn Gundam stuff. More Victory Gundam stuff. I gotta I gotta admit though, this is a really nice kit. So I might consider actually getting this eventually. One day. I don't have to talk about perfectly double O riser, but um, the one thing that I have to just kind of I have a grab about this perfect rate kit, and I don't, it's it's just me. Whenever I see perfect rate kit, I always think perfect rate. Okay, it's going to be perfect anime. No, it's not. You guys are going to tell me no, it's not. It's supposed to be just a perfect kit, and yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. It is supposed to be just a perfect kit, a perfect model, you know, a perfect display piece, and I, I can't get that into my head yet, so I'm trying to do that, but it's kind of hard, because looking at the pictures, the lens is just so weird looking to me, it's just, the proportions, the, the feet are huge, the, I like the upper body proportion, especially once you get the uh, O-Riser binders on the GN drives, it just looks sick from the top. Uh, the upper half at least, but then like when it gets to the lower half, you know, it doesn't make sense to me. Like it's like they chunk everything. Well, it's like they gave his legs steroids and left his upper body fine. I mean, I, I think I understand the reason for that, and it's probably to add extra stability when you add the uh, O riser binders and everything else on it. That's probably the reason why, and if that is the only reason why they're doing this weird chunky leg style, then okay, I'm gonna have to live with that. But for right now, maybe it's also because the legs are too short, but the arms look way too long. <laughs> and maybe it's just me, but, uh, I don't know. I guess it's because they designed this off some line art, but, you know, if I had the money, I'd get it. But anyway, that, that should be about it on my thoughts about that. There's one thing I have to say, though. Um, I'm at a point, and it's about the collaboration video, I'm at a point where I'm kind of busy with my life outside of this hobby. So, um, I've gotten to a part, like, I'm at the point where I've edited everyone else's parts and everything, and, and it's nice, it's coming together smoothly. I just I haven't gotten to my part. My part's the hardest part. Because you know I have to respond correctly, I have to make it smooth, and I don't have the um, the actual time to do that. Like you're probably thinking, if you have time to do a review, you could probably have time to do these things. The thing is, I have to do it all in one day, and I don't have one day because that takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of patience, and I'm basically acting, and that takes up a lot. Uh, I'm running out of time, so basically I'm just asking you guys: Should I continue with the collaboration? Um, because at this point I think it's a little pointless, the subject of it at least. Um, I'm down with dropping it, so you know, if I'm, I'm basically asking you guys to contribute into it. Uh, my idea is right now, if I do drop it, and that's kind of where I want to go right now, if I do drop this collaboration idea, then we can maybe finally start something more organized, especially the Halo Build Gundam thing that we've been so been trying to plan. So right now I'm down, I'm totally down with dropping it. So what, tell me what you guys think about that. Um, yeah, uh, you know, comment on anything I said here, comment on anything. You don't have to rate it, just comment. 
and I'll see you guys later. Um, yeah, watch this video and also watch my update video on Z Versus channel. I'll catch you guys later.